Y'all yeah, better tighten up. One, live. What's up, guys? Tight Lifestyle with Big Drew. What's up, guys? It's Tight Lifestyle. We're live. We're in Daytona. It turned out to be a great day when it was supposed to be rainy. We're here for the Daytona Beach Classic going down tomorrow. Excited about it. Got great topics, and we got special guests. Let's get right to it. Oh, yeah. So it's on. So we are down in Daytona. We got down here last night. Got to chat a little bit. Today was supposed to rain all day. We're like, oh. so we brought the sun. Thank God. Yes. And uh, we, you know, we, we were down there enjoying a little bit of the sun before we came up here to do the show for you guys. Special location down here at Hard Rock. Down here for the Daytona Beach Classic. Towel sponsor. Tight Medical Center, of course. So we're down here. We got some special guests coming down here. Weigh-ins are later on. Shows tomorrow. We'll be there all day tomorrow. But today we're gonna kind of relax. See what the hell is going on. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So let's get into the show. Big show. So. The first, let's start off with some philanthropy. So this billionaire is giving away, you know, most of his, his stuff, right? Yeah. Most of his money. Yeah, one of the richest guys in the in the one of the richest guys in the world. You know, it always goes up and down depending on how the year is. But this guy, one of the richest guys, is giving away eight billion dollars. Mm-hmm. So he's slowly over time just slowly donating his money. And his goal basically was just to give all his money away. He felt yeah. like he didn't need it for whatever reason. Yeah. I thought it was a good thing. I've never heard of anything like this before. I always like donation type stuff. I always like people giving stuff away. I always like, I, I've always liked that. Even when I was a little kid, I used to love hearing about stuff like that. Yeah. So, to me, it was good to bring positivity in the stuff. All this Corona stuff going on, all this negative and yep. this and that and yep. violence and that. So it's good to see people with a lot of money. A lot of people with a lot of money do the wrong things. It's a lot of corruption, a lot of stuff going on. So it's good to see people with a lot of money actually donating it. Um, I'm not sure exactly, or I really don't care what he's donating to get to. Mm-hmm. He's donating to good causes, but I mean, the simple fact of someone giving away everything that they've worked so hard for. Oh man! I'm sure he has the means to get money back. Billions. Yeah, if you have that much money, eight billion dollars, you can get money back. But it's a simple fact. If I thought it was a good look, it's crazy. And I, I hope uh, um, other people start doing it too. You don't have to give all your money away. But I mean, if you're a billionaire, you should have set something set up where every week or every month or every year you're giving away a certain amount to something. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like yeah. it's good. You so, know? yeah. So, the former billionaire lives with his wife in a small rented apartment in San Francisco, yeah. which is crazy. I love it. I love it's it. It's awesome. I love it. It really is awesome. And you know what? Most of the rich people, they do do some, some charitable donations yeah. because it's a write-off. But this yeah. guy obviously was doing it for the right reasons. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just a write-off for him. Yeah. So, big ups to him for sure for doing that. You know, especially right now in times like this, we yeah. need some more positivity in the world yeah. and less negativity, right? And especially now with all the Instagram, with all everybody's balling out and a lot of people yeah. are acting like they have money and they yeah. don't have it. Yeah. This guy is a billionaire, one of the richest guys in the world and lives in a regular apartment, lives by, you know, a regular. Yeah. So, I mean, I was just having a conversation with John like a week or two ago. I'm yeah. like, I wonder if there's any people out there that are billionaires that just have a studio apartment that don't spend their money. They it's may true. not even have a car. Yeah. Come to find out a week later, I'm reading about this guy. So I like that. Big up. I, I like Big stuff up like that. Um, next one. So uh, we're going to talk about the therapy of the week because we mixed out on that. We want to definitely shout out to this billionaire who was doing this, which was crazy. Yeah. So therapy of the week was injectable biotin, right? And uh, it's just, you know, we've had this therapy for a while. We really, you know, don't let everybody know about it. Well, a lot of people are worried about the hair these days, especially girls, COVID, all these different things. Sharice is going through some things, and we do it. So you can actually inject biotin. So biotin is B7. If you didn't know which B it is, it's a B vitamin. Um, it's called vitamin H for hair, but it strengthens skin, hair, and nails, and it helps convert proteins, fats, and carbohydrates into fuel for your body too as well. So there's there's a lot of different things that biotin does, not just for hair, skin, and nails. Obviously, that's what the main reason is right. for these uh, for the use of it. And again, too, being administered, you know, I am, I am yep. completely different. So the first thing we hear is, we hear biotin, you're like, oh, I saw that at CVS, I yep. saw that at Walgreens. Yep. It's not the same biotin. Right. It doesn't, you know, that stuff doesn't absorb the same way. You can right. look at our past videos in yep. terms of oil, uh, orals versus injectables. Yep. But the biotin we're talking about is is water based injectable. Yep. Hell of a lot better than those heartburn. Great absorption, high pills. absorbency, faster transportation rate to get in the bloodstream. Yes. So that's just the big benefits of it. You want to have that beard looking dark and, and thick, and ladies want to have their hair looking right. Yep. Biotin's where yep. it to go. Don't want bad skin. Don't yeah. want hair. Don't want bad nails. Definitely way to go. Girls are big on this, but it's for guys too. Um, you would would get this from a good diet. So everybody goes back to diet. Well, you can get 
a lot through diet, but you never get enough of biotin through diet. So yeah. that's that's a fact. And again, too, a lot of people don't have the stomach or the appetite or the capacity to have the volume of food oh, needed yeah. to get to their levels. So a lot of times, yeah, I can get that from vegetables or meat yeah. to this and that, but you don't have, I mean, do you have the a capacity, place, a the bowl time. of food this big to cook <laughs> it up and then, you know, a little bit different. <laughs> it's funny, we were talking about that last night because Drew was talking about you know, I was getting all his calories in, and he used to, you know, blend it up in shakes and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and, and he was like, well, think about it. You know, it's easier for me to blend up the shake, drink it down real quick instead of, like, three Tupperwares full of food yeah. that I have yeah. to eat down. Just, yep. you know, you're going to blow it out and stuff like that. So, you know, Biotin is definitely the way to go. Injectable therapy of the week. If you guys want to know about more of that or any of our other services, we service nationwide and everything that we do. Please call or text 727-389-3220, and you guys can get hooked up. Ask our, our staff about any of the other questions that you guys got about that therapy or any of our other therapies from hormone replacement therapy, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, peptides, blood work, all that good stuff. Libido enhancers, we got your guys' back. Want to help you guys look good, feel good, and perform better. Yes. So just call or text the line. All right. So the next one, we're going to go to Benzo. So Jet Benzo. More, Amazon more, owner. More positivity. I love the positivity. I, I figured this week I'm going with the positive theme. That's good, man. I don't want anything negative. I don't want anything about violence or anything. So once again, Jeff Bezos, uh, the Amazon guy, is actually opening yep. up a school. And the school is going to be for, you know, um, you know under, under, right? yeah, uh, kindergarten, three ages three through five. Oh, wow. It's going to be free tuition. Nice. It's going to be for kids that, you know... Uh, Kids that in low income or couldn't really afford it or in certain situations where they wouldn't be able to go to a school like that, right. which is, again, good. So all positivity, good. Shout out to Jeff Bezos. I'm not sure exactly what the school, I forget the name of it. It was, um, I'm sure Art can pull it up. Benzo's it Academy. Be, yeah, yeah. Benzo's Academy. It's going to be like a kindergarten, ages three through five. It's a good way to get set up the for a good The child will future. be the customer. Yeah. Well, that's kind of different. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Child is a customer. But, I mean, you see where he's going with the Amazon switch into the school. But, I mean, this guy is a genius. And, once again, I'm all about positivity this weekend. Yeah, day academics fun. Well, that's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. And, listen, anything that's helping our people right now, that's that's where it's at, man. We definitely want to give them a shout-out. What's up, Peter? How are you guys doing on Instagram, Mm -hmm. Facebook? All you guys out there, thank you for joining. Me and Big Drew, tight lifestyle, every Friday at 2 p.m. So, thanks for joining in. All right, so the next one. So, candy that kills. So, this is pretty crazy. Doesn't all candy kill to a certain extent? All right, so diabetes and everything is one thing, right? Because sugar leads to these different things. Now, this is not what this is about today, Mm. which is really crazy. So if you guys didn't know, black licorice is what killed this guy, supposedly. Mm. Um, Now, it's got, like, this licorice has, like, a certain chemical in it. And basically, it can raise cortisol levels which is a hormone which can cause hypertension and a lot of these different negative side effects well this guy would eat a candy to ha- a bag of half of candy he literally just switched up to black licorice uh recently and at that point he just dropped dead he started shaking and just dropped dead now this guy was a habitual smoker for 36 years too as well which could cause some of these different things too mm. But um, the FDA actually, I think it was in 2017, came out and said that um, this this chemical that was in there could actually lower potassium and cause these different health problems. Mm-hmm. So, and there was actually a lawsuit from another guy who wasn't obese or didn't have health issues um, that contracted and started getting health issues after eating black licorice. And this guy actually sold out of court with the company. So really, really cool. So guys, I don't like black licorice, all right? Yeah. Uh, it's it's not, it doesn't taste that good to me. Maybe some people do like it out there. It's like one of those you either like it or you hate it. Yeah, either like it or hate it. And you know, one thing that I I think that that reminds me of black licorice because I don't eat black licorice. Rubber. Well, no, because <laughs> the taste it, of rubber. If you're Greek or you know any Greeks, there's this thing called ouzo. It's it's mm. our like liquor of our country, right? Mm. Uh, and at that point, when you when you drink it, it tastes like black licorice. And that's the only thing I know of like that I could even. Wasn't say there that. like a liquor drink, like a slippery nipple or something? They probably had a liquor black licorice. Yeah, it was like I remember too. it was a black licorice type drink. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, no good, no good, man. Not so good, yeah. yeah, not good for your health either. So stay away from black licorice, guys. All right. Uh, next one: recycled, resold condoms. Yeah, you heard that right. Oh, my God. You heard that right. So people want to have safe sex these days, and <laughs> they want to make sure these condoms are not used, right? Uh, one-time use only, and they want to make sure they're going to work. 
So luckily, this did not happen in the United States. Mm. But who knows where these condoms were going for resale afterwards. Right. So a factory, uh, you know, they got raided by the Vietnamese government. And basically, they were recycling over 320,000 condoms. Recycling. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean. Disgusting. <sighs> Not only is it this, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost disgusting. unthinkable, disgusting. It is. Uh, going past that, like, I don't understand. Like, it would be such a process to clean it and repackage it and do right. all that stuff. Right. Why not just go buy it? Right. Or, or, or do it right. Manufacture it properly, yeah. right? But again, you know, I guess, you know, like John was telling me that the guy was getting 17 cents for two pounds worth yes. of used condoms. Yes. So Redone. These, cheap, these cheap workers are actually, you know. Yeah. I'm not sure how they're acquiring it. I'm assuming they're going to, like. Oh, that's high the, sex district areas yeah. and trash cans or whatever, which is disgusting yeah. again. But uh, I yeah. guess I'm buying it from some guy too. I read in the article really crazy stuff that you read these days. That's what uh, me, me and Drew were, we were on the way down yesterday. And I was kind of going, we were going over the topics and like Nasty. I was like, man, I was like, this is crazy. This is yeah. just crazy. So and this this lady that got you know was in the raid. She basically you know they, she was basically telling them that she was only getting paid seventeen sex seventeen cents for one kilogram. Yeah. Of condoms that she recycled, and by recycling that means that she washed them out, she reshaped the condoms, right? Um, and I think they packaged them afterwards. Really crazy, really sick, uh, you know. And people like this, I mean, it, it, this is nuts. Anybody, I don't who, care what country. Anybody you're from. who's out there, I mean, just to give you an idea, I mean, I can't imagine a condom weighing more than an ounce or two. Oh so yeah. Anybody out there? How many? How many condoms? It's two pounds worth of the recycled condoms. Two point two pounds worth of two point two. You're, you're, two point yeah, two pounds right. worth of a condom. How much? How many condoms is that? It's a lot. That's disgusting. It's right? a lot. One condom weighs point zero seven ounces. Oh point, my god. Point zero seven. Let me do the, uh, the point zero seven. So it's gonna take about fifty. Twenty four times that number. <laughs> One ounce equals zero or point zero two kilograms. So zero point seven. No, you all you do is all you do is is, is you do point seven mm-hmm. times twenty four because there's twenty four ounces I think right twenty four ounces and two pounds. There's no, it's thirty two ounces and two pounds. It would be point point zero seven, yeah. not point seven. Point zero seven would be yeah. crazy. <laughs> anyway, it's just nuts. Yeah, we're talking about so, thousands of condoms for like seventeen cents. Like, cheap condoms, crazy. Like, resold, reshaped. There reshape. had to be a machine. There had to be a machine that this person had where they could just take it yeah, and it just right. cleaned it. Because if you're literally going to can yeah, thousands you're gonna, like, drip it for out, 17 cents. Wash it out, and then you put it on a machine well, for 17 cents? I mean, the country you live in. Well, that's I not mean, even per condom. Yes, yeah, for two pounds. Yeah, I know, 2.2 two pounds. So you could literally be there all day for 17 cents. I can't believe we're talking about yeah, this. Well, right? Yeah, let's go to the next subject. Next subject. <laughs> no, it is just crazy. Like, we're, you know, we came across this. And, like, this is not If somebody can get that number, that'd be crazy just to figure out how many condoms that's that is. That's nuts. 2.2 two two pounds. That's nuts. Point zero seven ounces. This so the next one has to do with sex too. So Patriots owner Robert Kraft, if you guys don't know who that is, the New England Patriots owner, good guy, yeah. all the way around. Um, you know, he visits Florida quite a bit, and he got in trouble at a, like a massage parlor. So they basically said that he was soliciting for sex, um, and the owners of the massage parlor had video cameras installed in each massage room. Mm. Um, and at that point, what happened was was they got they busted him. It was for a misdemeanor charge, but at that point, what happened was was the prosecutors had to drop the charges on Robert Kraft, and the reason why was because of legal against his rights for that owner to install that into the massage room. Right. So totally off. So the prosecutors had no evidence at that point. Mm. So they had to drop these charges against Robert Kraft, which was only a misdemeanor. I mean, for them to even try to go after him, I, I guess for I mean, listen, if, if the person's willing, I guess on one hand, I, yeah. I know it's not right, but you know, it's it's. I, I would, it's, you know, uh, I would think that someone with that much money, that much to lose, would ask their lawyer, like, "What's going to yeah. happen if I go there?" And yeah. maybe his lawyer told him, "If they yeah. record you, there's nothing they can do." Yeah. Are, you pro- are you promised? Yeah. Boom. Maybe he knew that <laughs> just in case. Like a lot of people have a backup just in yeah. case they get. Yeah. I mean, because I can't imagine that he would know. I mean, this guy is worth like ridiculous amount of money to go into a public. Well, that's what place, I'm saying, right? And everyone knows who you are, and yeah. to do something. I mean, it'd be one thing, I guess, if we uh, called him out to the house, right? And then he was at his house or something like maybe that. Maybe he didn't want to go over there. Maybe was involved where he was just so drunk he didn't know. Who was with the guy? I know he's a widower. Yeah. So, you know, maybe he was lonely and stuff like that and just got I, to him. I blame his security or whoever's supposed to be around him. If there's a guy that has that much money, his security or whoever, 
I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's not the front man. I'm sure he's not out roaming around by himself. Oh, I'm sure not. I mean, maybe, maybe he was. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, if he wasn't, that's not a good. I thing. mean, it, it happens, I guess. So that's just really crazy. So if you guys are fans of New England Patriots, it was a big win for Robert Kraft for sure mm. uh, for not having to do this because they were probably giving community service fines, yeah. all this stuff, and then it's on his record, which is not good. All right, so Ring. If you guys don't know what Ring is by now, it's uh, a doorbell that has a camera on it, and people would come up there, and you could see who it is, drop packages. This has become a, a, a household item, I think, for everybody to one degree yeah. or another. Um, I have it. It's awesome. Um, so they, they've come up with all these different products. Well, they just came out with this in-house drone. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, right? Yeah, you can literally zoom in on stuff. And, yes. Yeah. So this thing will fly around your home autonomously by itself, or you could ask it to fly to different areas. I guess what you're going to do is you're going to be able to map out your house. It has like uh, sensors so it doesn't bump into anything or mm. go anything. The propellers are not sharp, so it's not going to hurt anything if it does. Um, so, yeah, just really crazy. The camera gets covered when it goes back to its dock. It goes back to its dock automatically. Mm. So I guess, you know, if you leave the stove on, it can check it. Doors unlocked, you'll know something's going on in the house. Somebody might be in there like mm. an intruder. Um, you'll know if they're robbing you at that point. You'll know what's going on, and you won't have to physically be there, which is really, really cool. You know, when I first started reading this article from the headline, mm. I thought it'd be outside, like yeah, autonomously yeah. flying outside. But uh, I guess not. So it's just more drones are going to be in the sky and in the houses and robots and artificial yeah. intelligence and all this sh is really coming to a head right now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's And no one's going to leave the house. I mean, it's getting yeah. to the point where you know, you, you don't have to go home to check on your house anymore. You yeah. don't have to turn on your, I mean, you could turn yeah. your lights from your phone. You could unlock the door from yeah. your phone. You could yeah. everything. It's nuts. It's, yeah. it's really, it's really, really crazy. good and bad at the same time. Really, really crazy. So... Uh, Titan events that are coming up obviously will be here in Daytona yes. tomorrow from Daytona Classic. Me, Big Drew, Art, the crew, Sharice, Amanda, we're all here. Uh, so at that point, today. big shout out to Jen and Eva. They'll be working the booth for us. So come out, get a free t-shirt, get a free tank top, yes. sign up for the newsletter, come talk with us, see a great show. Um, it should be really, really good. It was good last time for sure. Yeah, new venue too at the Ocean View. It's going to be a, yes. a lot bigger, a lot bigger, venue. lot bigger, better venue. We're going to go check it out today. Yep. Uh, also, make sure you, uh, the check-ins today is here. Yep. yep. Check-ins yep. are here at the Hard Rock. Yep. Five, five, eight. yep. Five, five to eight. eight. So if you want to come by, see us, or see the girls, or get a t-shirt, take some pictures, you know, just chop it up, talk to us for a little bit. We'll be down I'm there. Here. And then, um, that's here. And then, uh, yep. next month, mid-Florida. Yep. Mid -Florida. Mid Florida next, next uh, so that's on October 31st. Halloween will be down in Orlando. Yeah. Come join us. Bring out your costumes because we're gonna have a fun time. We got to still think about what we're gonna be. Yeah, I need some ideas. Wow. Give me some ideas. <laughs> Kimbo slice maybe. Everybody oh, says Kimbo. That's good. Who uh, Jose, are we are are up in the air right now about December. Um, so December is Olympia, and I think that's what you're asking. Uh, if we're going to be down there. So we might go. I, I don't know yet if we are. It's the week before Christmas, which is kind of hard. Uh, we got families and stuff like that, so we don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to have athletes in the Olympia, so big shout-out to our athletes that are going to be there. Rachel. Rachel be there. So that's going to be really, really awesome. Represent hardcore out there. Um, but, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But mid Florida's first before that. So October 31st, come see us in Orlando. We're going to be there. Title sponsors, mid Florida yeah. Classic. Uh, presented by Titan Medical Center, put on by Deke Warner. Uh, another great year with Deke. Uh, we just had a great show with him a couple months ago, so that was awesome. Yeah. We've been going strong since, what, April? We've had a, sure. events every, about every month since yeah. April, and after October, yeah. we're going into the yeah. Festivals of Speed. It's going to oh, be in December. Yeah. Big, huge car show, Lambos, yeah. all kinds of crazy stuff. That's shows Orlando like that. again. Yeah, we're like Orlando. And <laughs> no, man, we got to get a second hour home, yeah, home out yeah, there. So yeah. Ritz Carlton will be out there. This is another year with. Festivals of Speed and, and doing that it was a great event. We we'll bringing out the Titan Fleet, Titan Limo, the New 2020 Titan event. Yeah. I don't know what other we might bring around the other ones. We have no idea. But next weekend, join us back in Tampa, Tampa WCFLA, uh, World Class Fight League, Fight League, done by Rafael Garcia, it. MMA. Love the it. Ring Girls will be wearing Titan Medical Center there. We'll be having a table there. So come out and see us. Hang out with us. And uh, we're back to uh, stage, or I'm sorry, we're, we're in stage three, I guess, yep, of the three. pandemic thing. So we're 100% operational. 100% capacity. 100%. 100% huge, restaurants. Huge news. Hotels. So I don't know where you guys are at. And uh, Nightclubs. Yeah, nightclubs. I don't know if they're back to 100%. I'm not sure if nightclubs. I know they're 50 right now, so we'll see. We'll see about the bars that. TBL Ruth, all right, I plan to come to Titan. Thank you. Let us know. 
We'll take care of you. Like I said, we'll send you out some free tight gear too. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a great show. We're gonna want to get back down to the ladies, back down to try to get some sun before weigh-ins, yes. and try to enjoy a little bit of our time out here before we have to go back to work and some food. At, oh, we haven't some ate food, yet, so yeah. I haven't yeah, ate yet for sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so join us every Friday, Titan Lifestyle, Big Drew, 2 p.m. Sunday, the Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. If you guys aren't in Florida and can't check it out, it's on YouTube, Titan Medical Center, or you guys can check it out on our Titan Medical Center Facebook page. Yes. But a great show. Thank you guys for joining in. Drew? That's pretty much it. Also, you can check us out on the podcast if you want to listen to us every week. Or you can see past shows, listening to past shows. Yep. Click the purple icon on your iPhone for podcasts. Just search Titan Lifestyle. Everything will pull up. You can watch this episode. You can watch past episodes. And also hit the bell on the YouTube channel so you can be notified of new videos. That's right, man. So if you don't want to look at us, you guys can always listen to us if you're driving or working out, whatever it is, with these awesome podcasts. It's a great Friday. You guys have a safe and healthy weekend. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's do it. Y'all better tighten up.